How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back to the Nostalgia Train. I feel like I'm about to sneeze, so prep for that just in case it happens. So, we've uh, done all side stuff we can do for right now. I don't think there are any bounties. I can double check, I might. But, uh, I don't think there is. Right? No bounties? Yeah, no bounties. Okay, so we're done for now. Onward to progression. If I can get out of here. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So, hi. I find rude. I find that very rude. Stabby. All right, stabber. Uh, I'm gonna let you live for a short period of time, but I'm gonna. Ow! Die, 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 die. Ooh! I want that. I did not get that. Whoa! I gotta see this. Oh. All right then. That must have hurt. Nah, it felt good. Almost guarantee that thought. Not really, but you know. Hey, wait, where's my ship? Really? I put it all the way over there? <sighs> okay, fine. Guess that... Well, everyone's running from me now. That's right. I am to be feared. I totally look it, too. Yep. Alright. This is so fun. So exciting. I'm really enjoying myself here. Just, you know, kind of... Surf's up, dude. Alright. We're fighting, I guess. Fancy your chances, do you? Ow. Okay, double ow. Hey. Hey. Screw you. Die. Hey, Plessy. Plessy. Here, have a sword to the butt. That looks like it hurt. Really hope it did. All right, we got 181 money. Onward to Hamelin. Can I actually make it to Hamelin this time? All right, well, well I guess not. Captain Zombo. Oh boy. I want to attack Captain Zombo first. Okay, whoever did that, thanks. Much appreciated. And everybody's gonna die now. All of you are gonna die. Or re-die, I guess. You're already dead. Well, you're dead now, for sure. Oh, yay. Mighty leveled up, Swain leveled up, Gunther leveled up, and Kago leveled up. Cool. Can I please make it to Autonia now? Yeah, there's no more enemies in the way. Okay, cool. That took a long time to get to them. Compared to like three episodes ago, it feels like. I think it was just like one episode or two episodes ago. No, it was three. Now that I think about it, it was three episodes ago. Holy crap. Uh, big. Can I has that? No one can seize me. I'm sneaky. No one can see me. I'm very, very sneaky like that. Hiya. I 
think I need to capture one of you, actually. I'd be okay capturing multiples of you, actually. Attack the Tin Man. Ow! Hey! Who the flip just... You know what? Aw, uh, Esther! Do I have anything to... Nope! Alright, I... Yay! Sorry, Esther. Esther. Sorry. Here. That works, right? Okay, well... You know, I know I'm gonna end up fighting this guy anyway, so might as well. Hi! Robohog! Hello, everyone. Give me a Robohug, or I will Robo-kill you. Hello. Ow. That felt painful. That is what I'm supposed to say, right? Correct me if I am inaccurate on this statement. You do not have any gifts. <laughs> you are a sad human being that I basically just burned because I can. What is this? Did I seriously just... Correct me if I'm wrong, did I just walk through that guy? I like the overworld music here, actually. Ah, uh, go figure. Okay, hi. Time to die. You will be a nice addition to my collection of dead robot parts. <laughs> because that makes sense. This robot that is speaking is totally not brutal at all. Completely normal robotic features here. Nice. As I said, as I proclaimed before, no it is not. There we go. Alright. Time to go into Hamelin. The entrance to this thing creeps me out. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, look at that. Look at that thing. That's just creepy. That is just freaking creepy. I, I would not want to go near that thing for the life of me. <laughs> First, I actually do want to collect this. Hello? Shadow glass. Well, I hope I need that for something. Alright. Hamelin. Hamelin time. We will now enter the facility. There should be no problems about this whatsoever. Crikey, this place is flippin' massive. But what did you expect? You saw it from the outside. You know, there are machines everywhere. Careful, Oliver. Your eyes are going to pop out of your head if you're not careful. <laughs> no, no, they're not. I, I was just saying. <laughs> anyway, never mind the machines. Look over there. Hi. Ruddy Nora. What the heck is he wearing? He kind of looks like... A pig. Jeepers. Take a look around. They're all dressed like pigs. No, I saw a couple that wasn't. A couple that we, again, have side quests for, apparently. Huh? Is it just me or Swain behaving a little strangely today? Doesn't he always, though? 
You think so? He might be, I guess. Right. You lot have fun looking around. I'm off. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh. Sweet! Jeez, what's with him? Now you're catching on? Why did he go just run off like that? Hmm. I suppose he wants to be alone. Honestly, he just does whatever he pleases. Yeah, that's nothing new. Bah! Leave him to it, man. We'll have more fun without him at the stroppy so-and-so. So he just left your party. Well, gosh dang it. Hey, hey guys. All right, what happened this time? Wait, first of all, you. Hi. I'm starving, but I am far too busy to concern myself with frivolous pastimes like eating. You sure you're okay, mister? Oh, do not concern yourself with my well-being. I am just rather peckish. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Sir, there is an issue here. My sensors are indicating low blood sugar in your body because of many particular reasons that I'm not going to say. <laughs> Actually, that wouldn't surprise me at all. The robot knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but if you don't eat something soon, you'll faint, mister. Young man, I am a critical juncture in some deeply important scientific work. And you suggest that I simply stop to eat? It is detrimental to your health. Vital organs could be damaged. Even if you do eat, vital organs could be damaged. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nope. 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 Never mind. Do not worry about me. I shall control my appetite for now and eat with, eat my fill when, and only when, my work is complete. But, but. Now, let's, let Dr. Turkey diagnose this case. This fellow's got more than his fair share of restraint, and it's driving him a bit by. Let me guess. The two over there need restraint. If we don't grab a bit of his heart quick smart, he'll collapse, poor beggar. Could it spare us a little bit of your heart, could you? Piece of my heart, you say? Well, I suppose so. You do know what you're doing, don't you? Sure we do. Now, if you could just hold still for a second. No idea what we're doing. Nope, nope, that's crazy. A crazy of you to think so. Well, I've got restraint, but that's not the one I was looking for. Oh, I say. I never felt so hungry in my life. My stomach thinks my throat's been cut. Without some nourishment, I will surely collapse. What good would that do my research? I do declare it is time to dine. Oh, cool. I think that's for the best, sir. I sure hope you enjoy your meal. I thank you. I have learned a valuable lesson today. Too much restraint can be bad for one's Oh, yeah. All right, let me guess. You need restraint. But first, I'm gonna fill up my case. Of ca okay, hold on. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me, but still, it matches. Then I'll eat ice cream till it comes out of my ears, and then, and then. Hey, haven't you had enough? You can't go on eating like this, dear. Flip it, heck. She's got an appetite on her, ain't she? Yeah, wonder why she's so hungry. No restraint. I was right. Saved up a bit of money, haven't we? Let me enjoy it. What are you on about? We scrimped and saved that money to open our dream shop. That's true. Carry on like this, and we'll be back where we started, with our two guilders to rub together. There's no doubt about it. It's restraint this lady's lacking. If we don't do something shoppish, the hopes and dreams will disappear into her gone. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Necessary repercussions are in order. Time to create some self-destruction sequences in three, two, one. 
Okay, maybe it was a bit delayed. I am in error right now. <laughs> that robot is in so much error, it's ridiculous. Hey, Doc! Could you fix up my bot for me? It's been acting very, uh, violent-esque as of late. Oh, I feel warm and tingly inside. Also a little... Oh, whatever have I been doing? Some of us to get our dream shop off the ground. We can't just keep eating into our saving. There you go. Right as rain, she is. And it's all thanks to yours truly. You owe me one, missus, and nobody... <laughs> Shut up, Drippy. You did nothing. Mr. Drippy, you can't say that. <laughs> it's fine. He's right. We owe you a lot. Built us through a tough patch yet again. Here, take this. It's our way of saying thank you. Okay. Oh, cool. I think I can actually... Yeah, I think I can go get another reward or something. Okay. Hold on. Is that... Okay, there are a few more... Two more side quests and three more... Things. My brain forgets what the things is. I, 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 I am in error right now. That's all I have to say. Right now, I am in error. I am error. I am in error. I am error. Okay, really, seriously, some fix, someone fix my robot. I don't know what happened to him, but cutscene. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the? That's not normal. That is not normal. What is going? Whoa, oh, oh, all right then. Okay then. Nah, we'll let the, we'll let the thing run us over. It'll be fine. Detected. They are not pigs of this. They are not in any shape or form swine. They are indeed, in fact, cows. <laughs> and there goes the bot. Okay, bot's broken. <laughs> toss the thing aside, kick it into the junkyard, and maybe somebody will pick it up and fix it later on. I had some business to take care of. And a little bird told me something that just might be might interest you. Huh? You mean Yep, it's about the great sage you're all so eager to find. Tidy. Well, come on then. Where is he? Don't keep us in suspense, Mum. Uh, well, that's the thing. He's in the palace. The palace? See you see how everyone here is forced to wear a pig mask? Well, they say there's this fellow who goes around without one. Apparently he calls himself the prince's servant. And there's more. They say he's a young chap with long hair and fine feathers. What? Wait. Sounds like the boy in the picture we got from the Khalifa. Got it in one. Goodness. And then I was thinking you were completely useless. <laughs> oh, and you're saying that to his face? That's harsh. Doesn't mince her words, does she? She ain't the only one. How did you find out about this, Swain? Oh, it was just something I overheard while I was wandering through the black market. Why were you in the black market? Black market? You certainly seem to know your way around this city, Swain. Me? No, no. Never been here before in my life. That's bullcrap, Swain! 
I have a good nose for leads, is all. You don't get a face like this unless you've lived a little. Let's just say I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Okay, all right. Huh. So he serves the prince, huh? Then he must be real important. That parade was something else. Ah. Now, talking about that pocket prince fellow, the thing is is Red alert! Red alert! Ah, great! They threw the robot back in here. <laughs> it heard that sound, it's just like, red alert! Red alert! Trespassers inside! Everybody, take shelter in the bomb shelter where we hold all of the bombs in the city. They will not explode on you at all. What did you say? They are set to detonate. That is ridiculous. Totally am not planning it at all. Okay. That's horrible. That is dark. Alright. I threw you in the junkyard for a reason. Flippin' heck. What's with all that racket? I almost jumped out of my fairy suit, but... What's going on? Okay, sure. I'll take the imprisonment, please. I don't got 5,000 gil. Flippin' eye contact? What kind of law is that? I've never heard anything like it. Just what is going on here? This is insane. How could he? Oi, you want to find the great s Oh, that's Swain, not Esther. Oi, you want to find the great sage, don't you? Well, hurry up and head to the palace. You're right. Let's go. Swain has rejoined the party. Cool. Now, let me side quest. Dang it. I wasn't ready for that. Still not ready. Oh, cool. I do like the music here. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. No. Oh. Um, I'm not allowed to get that right now. Wait. No, that's the wrong way. That's why. I keep going the wrong way. Help! This guy. Hello. My experiment has succeeded. Whoa, you sure seem happy. Indeed I am. All of my efforts are finally paying off. I have taken a mighty leap towards the development of a new type of steam reactor. Oh, that's cool. Congratulations, mister. That sounds just swell. You're very kind. My work is far from done. I shall not rest until I have perfected my revolutionary steam reactor. Crikey, Papa fired up, ain't you? Right, right. One more, or one must have a passion for progress in all its forms. A brighter future awaits us all. Okay. That lad's got enthusiasm to burn, man. Ask him if he'll give us a length. Uh, excuse me, mister. Would you be okay if we borrowed a little of your enthusiasm? Why, certainly. When one's pistons are pumping at pace, it would be a shame not to share one's energy. That sure is kind of you, mister. Okay, here goes. My circumstance seems to be in error. Why is everything not working? You're back? You've been pushing that button like for hours now. <sighs> Give me that. The robot thought that they put bombs in the freaking bomb shelter. 
They were pushing the button of, uh... <laughs> well... Let's see if I can make... You're an idiot. I don't know how this is going to freaking detonate anything. It's a freaking computer mouse. It's dead anyway. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. You need to go. Ah, oh, it's like cool breeze has blown across my breast. But this is no time for flowery turns of phrase. It is time to work for a brighter future. You are a smart dude, and I love it. You? Hello. I need work, and I shall leave no stone unturned till I find gainful employment. Say, mister, you sure seem happy for somebody who's out of a job. What's not to be happy about? My best friend was out of work, so I stepped aside and gave him my job. Jeepers! You sure that was a smart idea? Oh, it was the very least I could do. Truth be told, it is scant repayment for all he has done for me over the years. Okay. Wow. He sure sounds like a good friend. Indeed he is. Jobs may come and jobs may go, but a friendship like that is irreplaceable. No kidding. I would happily give up my livelihood a hundred times over rather than seeing my poor friend suffer. My robot is literally like just sitting in there in the corner. I put it, I, I kicked it, so I guess I must have hit the mute button on it, but it's, try, it's trying to say something. It's looking at me scandalously. I don't know what to think about my robot. My evil, demented robot just... Ugh. This here is no run-of-the-mill fellow. His heart's fit to burst with kindness. I know. Say, would you be interested in helping somebody else out? Help somebody else? Certainly. But are you sure I'm the right man for the job? I'd hate to let you down. Trust me, you'll do perfectly. <laughs> Trust me, you're the right man. Please, mister, we need your help. <laughs> well, since you put it like that, how could I possibly refuse? Thank you, mister. I like this guy. We can finally finish up over in the fairy grounds now, at least. Well, for now. Warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. Oh, this is a most strange sensation. But by no means unpleasant. Now then, young man. You'll always try to help out your friends, won't you? I sure will. Gee, I hope me and Phil stay best pals when we grow up. Well, he's shown you how it's done. Follow his lead. And you and Phil will still be best mates when you're old and gray and wrinkly. <laughs> you know, Mr. Drippy, you say really smart things sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Sometimes? Sometimes? I'm a flippin' fount of wisdom. I'll have you know. That's bullcrap. And he said smart, not wise, I think. He said smart, right? I, I, I am way too forgetful for stuff like this. Hello. Oh dear me! This simply will not do. It will never be ready in time. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, young man, I am in quite a predicament. I wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but this plant just won't, will not blossom. Her birthday is just around the corner, and yet this stubborn plant refuses to cooperate. No wonder the poor dad's flustered. Her mam's going to be none too pleased. Couldn't you put your heads together and come up with some way to help me? Um, I'm sorry, man. I'm afraid I don't know much about flowers. Come on, Ollie boy. You're a wizard, ain't it? With flipping magic and everything, there must be something you could do. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. I mean, I mean, it would be too bad if your mother was disappointed on her birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I'm counting on you. Um. Makes plants grow quicker. Yeah. N Nature's tongue. 
That's the right one. Oh, great. I look over and my robot's just like... I think my robot's having a seizure now. Oh, well. This one? Blooming marvelous. Hang about. Didn't flippin' work. You're right, Mr. Drippy. Maybe I should try it one more time. It's no use, Ollie boy. Using that spell willy-nilly will just shorten that poor plant's life. Oh, how awful. You wouldn't want that. I reckon what this plant needs is a decent dose of sunshine. I'm afraid that sunshine is in rather short supply here in Hamelin. Oh, this plant will never blossom. Don't get your knickers in a twist, missus. There may be another solution, like... I forget where I heard it, but someone said something about a very interesting creature that looks like... I've got it! That's it. If you could get that critter to shine its light on this plant, it might blossom. There's sharp, are you? There's sharp, you are. That's just what I was thinking, Ollie boy. Okay, let's go find it. Done. <laughs> we found you in the next best thing to sunshine, ma'am. We already found it when we, when we decided we were going to go find it. How extraordinary. It really does look like, just like the sun. Let's get it to shine its light on your plant. What about water, though? That's kind of necessary. Nino, the flowers are blooming. You're not wrong, honey boy. Feast your eyes on those beautiful blossoms. Oh, they are simply exquisite. My mother will be over the moon. Swell. We got the plant to flower in time for your mother's birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I'd be honored if you would accept this. Okay. Cool. I mean, I know we could progress, but I'm having too much fun with side stuff. Is that bad? <laughs> Is there anything back here, by the way? Yes, there is. Hello. Hello. Hi. Give me a sec, actually. I want this. Okay, hi. Hey! Splendid! All seems to be in order. Just the way I like it. <laughs> oh boy, now sparks are flying all over the floor. I can feel it on my feet. That's why I turned that time. Ow! Somebody take this robot to the dump. I don't even know why I still have it at this point. Why did I keep it in the first place? It was threatening me when I first bought it. I feel like when I first got the robot, bought it. I've been ripped off. I was told the robot was supposed to be like super helpful and clean everything. But when it when that went down, all I got was crap to human. I hope you are prepared for the inevitable. It pulled out like a knife on me. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take that away, and we're going to fix you up. It's been sitting over there since, I swear. It's just gotten worse. Is it your... Anyway, this. I'm getting rid of that. Focusing on this. Is it your job to patrol the area, sir? With all these folks around, you must sure be busy. <laughs> All in a day's work. What's a little effort if it helps keep Hamlin safe? You know what? Fair enough. Very fair. Wow. You sure do love your job. Say, when there's a royal process... When there's a royal procession, do you just watch, want to watch and cheer like everybody else? Well, I am always so busy keeping an eye on everyone during processions that I really don't have time to think about things like that. Gee. You don't even think about it, huh? You sure are dedicated to your work. <laughs> well, there may have been one or two occasions when I felt a cheer of you brewing, but I've never yet given in to the urge. So what? Not a single cheer, man. Imagine that. It takes some serious flipping restraint, that does. It sure does. I don't think I could stop myself. What are you talking about? You didn't do it earlier. It's not my place to have fun. I must watch over you all so that you can enjoy such processions in safety. Thank you, sir. Um, I was wondering if we c I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Huh? Are you in some kind of trouble? No, sir, it's nothing like that. The thing is, it would be just swell if I could take a little of your restraint for someone who doesn't have any. Take some of my restraint, you say? And this will help someone to control their unruly urges, will it? Sounds jolly good to me. Thank you, sir. Okay. 
Cool. And there's that. Yeah, I'm doing all possible side quests in this. I'm gonna try to not miss any of them. That is my ultimate goal right now. Do not miss a single side quest. However, now I've gotta bounce back over to where we were from. Ah, fudge, what did he say? I'll say this much. Poppycock. I really appreciate it, sir. Good luck with your guard duties. Well, thank you. Your encouragement has inspired me to strive even harder in my work. Good. All right, any other tasks here? There is one up there. Let's go ahead and head that way. He's going to be on the same... Ah, you. 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 What happened? Threaten damnation! Am I not a man? Why must I always lose my nerve? Um, uh, what's the matter? It is a sorry tale, I'm afraid. There is a young lady who I am... Who I have known since my earliest days. And I had planned to ask for a hand in marriage. Jeepers, that, um... That sure sounds romantic. Romantic? Far from it. I'm afraid. I cannot muster... Oh, you need courage. I've known her all my life, and yet now I find myself going out of my way to avoid her. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Jippy, kind of new to this stuff. Is that normal, or... No, it uh, depends. Sounds like a clear-cut lack of courage to me. This poor lad's broken-hearted. What are we going to do about it, Oliver? Give him courage, except I don't know if I have any right now. I have restraint. I have kindness. That's the spirit. You're a proper gentleman, Oliver. What's the matter? Yep, don't got it. I don't got no courage right now. Neither does anybody here. Oh, there's one more side quest, though. Two more. Um... But, jeez, now we gotta head back to the frickin' fairy grounds. That's not gonna be fun. That's not gonna be fun to have to go all the way back over there. Knowing me, I'll probably run into battles along the way or something, but... <sighs> it has to be done, I guess. Wait, wasn't there, like, one more... Wasn't there, like, another mission somewhere? Oh. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten to the area yet. It's over there. But let's go ahead and head back to the fairy grounds. Might as well get that last one side quest. What the heck? Oh. Okay, we've got quite a few side quests to do, apparently. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the inn, and then we'll... Con we'll, we'll actually, you know what? Yeah, fine, fine. We'll go back to the fairy grounds and finish up that side quest. Then I'll go to the inn and save everything else for next time. Okay, so we are here. We can finally finish up the side quest in this area. Which is going to be nice. And... Wait, where is... Oh. Oh, it's over here. Why did I think it was... Whatever. Hey. Hey, butthole. Here, have some kindness. Be kind to your freaking customers, for heaven's sake. Honestly, I'm a bit shocked there was no courage over there. But then again, I don't think we've gotten courage yet. I have to double check. Huh? What the? Was he not broken hearted or something? How do? Oh. Sorry about before, ain't it? Have a nice day, and that. For flip's sake, man! He's hardly changed at all. Well, he, uh, seems a little happier, don't you think? Honestly, man? You go away for five minutes and the whole fairy race goes to pot. You were gone for more than five minutes, dude. My guess. Here's a present, like. I think he was dead in the first place, buddy. Ooh! Actually, you know what? We could probably do one more thing. Now that I'm thinking about it, those merit stamps, I think I got enough of those where I'm like... Hello. That was the wrong spot. Oops. I didn't even bother to read it. I was not... I did not mean to go here. So solutions. Claim merits. Wow. 
Why not? You exchange the rents? Allows you to buy items in shops at a slightly lower price. Cool! Awesome. I love it! Alright. Well, let's head on back to Hamlin, because that's all we had to do here. <laughs> and... Let's go! Okie doke. We are back here now. We've got a couple more side quests that can be done. Hi. But let's go take a nap for right now. That was definitely an interesting feat, that's for sure. Hello. Welcome to one of the cart's cradle chain of premium inns. We provide ourselves in... Yeah, I think I've read this before, actually. Alright, sure. We'll stay. We're proud to be to offer a wide selection of rooms, and remember, your custom is always appreciated. More rooms than any other kind. I think I've read this before too. Look at your wizard's companion, Ollie boy. Looks like it's gotten bigger. The memories of all the travelers who stayed here are filling it back up, tidy. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well. In any case, I am going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. Oh gosh. I gotta get rid of this scrap junk that's still sitting on my floor. Kind of stopped moving. I think I broke it or it's muted or something. I don't know. It's broken one way or the other. I gotta return it to the dump or take it to the dump or something. I don't know. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of... Uh, I already said that as well. Ugh. If you did like this video, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a game by Bandai Namco or Level 5 you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. There is one uh, Level 5 game that I've done prior to this. Um, didn't complete it fully, but I checked it out at least a little bit. Look like you cross my hair, my head here and train will take you to that particular stop group of stops. Or, if you missed any of the stops on this ride so far, top right hand corner will take you to those. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!